Okay, so as you can see, engines in the sky. Basically, when I'm, I'm in cars in the sky, basically what I'm doing is I'm pulling the engine. After speaking to the Oracle Corey, um, he said pull the cam out and um, pull the cam out and extract the lifter from the bottom. Don't try to pull it up anymore from the top and cause any more damage to the bore if there is damage to the bore. So I got most of the engine already undone. I expect to have it on the engine stand tonight. So what I have left to do is I need to take the hood off. I need to loosen up. There's like a clamp that holds the torque tube to the flywheel. Need to take that apart. And then I need to lower the cradle. That's pretty much it. I did a lot of it Yes, I did take a lot of stuff off yesterday. And then also hook it up. So the first thing I'm going to deal with right now, I'm going to take the hood off since it's right here in front of me. And then I'll go underneath the car. Okay. Um, pardon the music. I know it's... 80s rock scorpions um we got the engine just about out um i didn't really break anything actually i didn't break anything i think i maybe broke broke one connector clip um but anyway that's not a big serious thing it's the cooling temperature but yeah we almost got it out so we're gonna put on the engine stand and we're gonna call it a night All right, so we got the engine all here on the engine stand. <laughs> yeah, it's got that bad lean to it because of the bolts. But hey, it held up overnight, and it's got. And I also got, you know, a jack right here. So gonna start taking off the front end stuff, so it only make it lighter, and then we'll get to the camshaft. Okay, so we got most of everything off the front. Um, just about everything off the front. Next thing is to take off the, the timing chain, and. Um, I guess you would call those the cam, uh, the cam gear. It's amazing how much stuff up on the front here is all 10 millimeter 3/8 size. So next thing is remove these three uh, these three bolts that hold the gear onto the camshaft, and I might have to remove these two right here. So yeah, let's go and do that real quick. Okay, so got everything just about off time and chain. About to get the cam uh, plate out of here, and then I'll be taking the cam off with slowly rotating it. So, um, I have these um, pin magnets sitting here for the lifters on the uh, driver's side head. It was something that Corey recommended uh, to prevent the lifters from falling down. Uh, I was going to probably turn the engine upside down or do the doll, uh, the, the rod thing that people do, sticking wood dowels, dowels in there or metal ones to keep them from falling in. Um, but let's try this method out like he said. I put the tape around there so when they do fall, that um, it gets stopped and um, they won't go any further. So um, let's try this method out, pull this plate out and start getting the cam out. Okay, so this is where we are. We ran into quite a few problems. So not only did I have to go to uh, four places to get enough of these, I went to two auto parts stores and cleared them out. Then um, earlier today, now I realized that I got some bigger ones that are over there. Um, they were too big to go down in the side of the uh, chambers um, into the holes. So I went to Walmart. Walmart didn't have any. So I went to a 24 hour auto zone and picked up like five more. Um, another issue that we just ran into is taking out the, the Torx heads for these retention, um, for these um, retention, uh, for this plate that was here. Like um, they were held on there so tight with Loctite. My, um, my actual brand new Duralast Torx bit, T50 I believe, actually snapped off in here. So I tried everything I could. I tried a slit in there, I tried to use a screwdriver, I tried to hammer something in. It just didn't work. So what I did is I ended up getting out my angle grinder and I essentially, um, as you can see right here, through multiple pieces that I essentially just cut up this plate and I'm gonna have to buy another plate. Um, and then I chiseled out uh, what was remaining here. I still got to get the, the bolt out, but at least I can get this cam out. So I'm going to try my extractor set to see if I can get around this, this head here and pull it off. But it is really, really in there. Um, broke one of my um, Allens, I mean one of my Torx bits. My other two Torx bits, it, it twisted them and it basically came around it off in there. So um, I'm going to try on this for a couple more minutes. If it doesn't come off, I'm just going to go with the cam and I'll get to this later. Alright, so this is what we got. Um, as you can see, 
lifter is missing quite a bit of it let me show you what a good lifter looks like from the same engine we we'll put it here on my workbench here so this is what a good lift lifter looks like and this is what the bad lifter looks like as you can see it's missing its whole roller part which is this right here so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up for tonight um, I got I achieved my goal which was to figure, get the lifter extracted and see what the problem is um, I could take it a step farther flip it over take the oil pan off see if I can find where this chunk is um, but I have a good feeling it's not in the block anymore it might have went out through the exhaust because I kept hearing sounds in the exhaust like something metal was rattling around in there but what I'm going to do next, I know tomorrow's 4th of July, I'm going to still text Corey, see what he thinks, I'm going to send him these pictures. Um, I can feel on the inside of this bore um, that the lifter came out of, I don't know if you can see it, yeah you can definitely see it. Down there at the bottom, that's like scoring and marks up because of damaged lifter there. As you can see over here, it's all smooth, just like this one um, right here, it's all smooth throughout. But this one at the very bottom, if you can see down there, it's like a little chunked up and scoring and jagged. Um, also on the inside, I can see a little bit of metal shavings um, caught on the bore. I mean caught on the um, camshaft bearings. You can actually see some right here. Right there. Um, so yeah. Um, that's actually... Here, I could pull something out. That's not actually what I was thinking about, but I could. Uh, I don't know where they are. I pulled some out a minute ago. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna ask Corey what he thinks, and we'll go from there. So another take before I shut down for a night. If you could tell from these pictures that the camshaft is all shiny and smooth. But you can see right here on this, uh, let me get my, if you can see right here, focus, come on focus, okay you can see right here on this load, they're scarring, probably from the piece bouncing all around. Also right here, this is probably the lobe that the cam would mainly sit, I mean the lifter sat on, it is definitely chewed, chewed the fuck up. So I definitely gonna need a new camshaft. I mean, they only come between two hundred and four hundred dollars, so that's not a big deal, considering the grand scheme of things. Um, and what I'm thinking here is what we're gonna is what he's gonna say is that you know the block salvageable, but what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna probably have to take this um, of tear this down at least to um, taking an oil pan out. I don't know if I'm gonna take the crank out. But it's gonna be at least new bearings, new cam shaft, new cam bearings. Um, yeah, well, I'll just figure out what he, what, what he says. We'll see what machine work has to be done because de this lifter board definitely needs to be sleeved. Um, we got to see what the cost looks like because the cost starts getting up to about two thousand for all this stuff. And you might as just buy. I might as just buy another short block, slap the heads on, and, and put a. Um, Put a cam in it or or maybe just slap the heads on and, and and run like a stock ls3 or a stock ls2 since i'm not going for horsepower anymore because of what i do now but i still want that cam sound but we'll figure out the options let's not jump to conclusions um i'm gonna get the, everything cleaned up here bring the car back in and um, call it a night